All right, how many of you take supplements? Uh, did you know that supplements can actually help you lose the pounds? That's right, our herbal pharmacist Dave Foreman is here now. You were just featured in a very prominent publication. Right. Tell us about that. Yeah, um, well, luckily I've been getting these guest gigs in magazines for quotes and uh, Nutritional Outlook uh, was one, uh, Better Living, uh, Better nutrition. Better, better nutrition. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. All, they all have the same kind of name. That's all right. I read it, yeah. Dave. I don't know if you read it, but <laughs> actually, I read it. <laughs> <laughs> now, what was featured in the? You, you talked about yeah. a lot of supplements that will help people lose the weight at, because look, it's hard to lose weight. Yeah. You can do the exercise. You could eat right, but sometimes you need a little extra help. So tell us about some of these supplements. Yeah. So I have four areas. You know, as as we're trying to lose weight, there's different things that uh, affect us dif uh, each differently. I'm not a starch guy, but mm. if I was, I'd use uh, an ingredient that comes from white kidney bean called phase two. Phase two is a starch blocker. So you can, while you're learning not to eat that junk food, right? Potatoes, rice, pasta, you know, bread, that kind of stuff. You can take phase two before that, uh, before the meal that contains that, or even a snack, and it blocks 65% of the caloric effect. That's that's a lot. That's huge. That's good. Yeah. So you can eat your meat and potatoes because a lot of people are right. uh, not addicted to, but they won't give up their meat and potatoes. Well, I'm actually writing a, a book right now, a uh, booklet more like on the uh, starch addiction that we have because it converts to sugar. We now know that sugar mm -hmm. lights up the same part of the brain that heroin and cocaine do. Wow. So I feel like starches, those foods really are addictive, and I'm looking at you know, educating people that, you know, these things, that's why they're so hard to stop eating. Interesting. Yeah, kind of so cool. I, I didn't yeah. know that I it made your wheels turn, didn't Yeah, it, <laughs> it did. I'm, but I'm not a starch guy either. I try not to be. Sometimes, right. look, you know, you got to have... I'm a chip guy, though. I got to tell you that. I you got to have cheat days with, with, with something. <laughs> right on. All right, so I take this, this uh, supplement called L-carnitine. Now, I right. take it in conjunction with arginine and taurine. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that supposedly kind of slims you down. Right, that's true. Actually, is is yeah. it true? So yeah. I'm, I'm not taking these no. for, everything for nothing? I, no, everything I bring usually has science behind it. And right. everything usually doesn't make sense. But anyway, carnitine is shown to help with burning fat. Uh, a lot of people now, when they're working out, they uh, they get a little sore stiffness. And mm -hmm. carnitine even helps with people that are starting to get an exercise program, cut down on that stiffness after the workout. Oh, interesting. Helps improve recovery time. So yeah, helps with the fat metabolism. Literally carries the fat from your bloodstream into your cells to be burned for energy. So you nice. actually get a little more energy out of it as well. And you really always important. bring the chia seeds, and chia it's seeds. important yep. because, I mean, th this is like a uh, um, superfood at this point, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like you could cover this part because I know, <laughs> I know, I know you're the chia guy, but it's high, it's high, it's high in protein. Too, she loves the high chia in, seeds. You know, high in protein, high in complex carbs, high in good fats. We mm -hmm. now know that a diet that has good fats in it will help your body to burn the bad fats. So adding chia seeds, even uh, fish oil will be uh, effective. But I'd rather have it be part of my diet. So like you, I add chia seeds to pretty much everything. Yeah. Yeah, and especially in the morning because it gives you that extra boost of protein that you need. Right. All right, so green tea, we hear how, how good it is for you, right. but let's talk again because you can't talk about it too much. Why is it so good for you? Well, green tea is one of the top five herbs in my in my whole planet, I guess you'd say, and uh, it speeds your metabolism, so mm -hmm. it'll help you burn more calories. Um, it's known to help your body burn fat, so uh, it, it's a you know antioxidant, good for heart health, Good for cancer, you know. I mean, just it's just overall good for your body. I recommend drinking three to five cups a day. I drink three cups a day every day, yeah. and it's just a phenomenal thing. It's a good antioxidant. Is it a good anti anti-inflammatory? Um, not as much, um, and you can either brew your own tea or you can get you know get capsule form of, of it as well. Yeah. I, d I do both. Yeah. Uh, last then, but not least is not a weight loss thing. This is for those people this that is to are help trying to recover, right? Yeah. These are for the people like me that are you know 50. You're trying to get you know your your keep your figure or, or get it back to what it was. There's an ingredient that comes from hops. We've talked about it before here called perluxin. Right. Perluxin has been compared to uh, ibuprofen for effectiveness, but the cool thing is it doesn't have that stomach upset and liver and kidney negative effects that a lot of the over-the-counter pain relievers do. So if you're getting sore while you're getting back in shape, uh, look at, you know, Prolux and Carnitine and you're on your way. Good stuff. Thank you. Herbal pharma pharmacist Dave Foreman, always a pleasure. Thank you. All right, we'll be back with more daytime right after this.